Welcome to an emergency edition of the Math Misses. Tonight we're talking Chase the Ace. As you may have heard, a Chase the Ace game in the Goulds reached a prize of over $600,000 last week. I'm losing! Yahoo! A massive crowd is expected to play again this week and bump up that prize to $750,000. First, people buy tickets, lots of tickets. The money from these ticket sales goes toward the prize. Then, on game night, one lucky ticket is drawn from among all the tickets sold. The owner of that ticket gets up on stage and draws one card from a standard deck. I don't care! If they draw the ace of spades, they win the game and the prize money. If not, their card is removed from the deck and the game continues next week and the week after and every week until someone picks the ace of spades. Jade Eustace is a statistician. In this game, there's actually two lotteries you're playing. There are the tickets, and then there's the actual choosing of the card. Yeah, that's me! <laughs> so the first lottery is dependent on the tickets. That really depends on the number of people who come out and how many tickets each person is buying. So last week, they actually sold about 200,000 tickets. So if you bought three tickets, that's about three out of 200,000. So then if we move over to the cards, there's only 13 cards left, so you have a much better chance there. One in 13 of choosing the Ace of Spades. And if you want to know your probability of winning the entire jackpot, you'd have to multiply these two probabilities together. So you'd have maybe one in 87,000 over here, <laughs> and then you'd have one in 13 over here. And if you multiply those together, you're gonna get about a one in 1.1 million chance. But it's still better than say, Lotto 649. Yes, that's true. Lotto 649 is one in 14 million. So you are doing better on this game. What's the probability of a Chase the Ace lottery going as far as this one has? Well, we're going on to week 40 now. The probability of the Ace getting chosen sometime in the first 39 weeks is 39 out of 52, or 75%. So then we can look at the probability of it being chosen after 40 weeks, and that's the remaining 25%. So really, for every four Chase the Ace games that are run, we're going to get one that gets up this high, and those are the ones that you hear about on the news. Oh! Wow. <laughs> See you next week! <laughs>